Alright, what's up guys? <clears throat> Let me give you a little update here. Uh, got this side over here pretty much uh, braced up, minus a couple spots on the very end over there. Ran out of welding wire, tack up. But basically what I'm going to do is, got this piece right here. Uh, it's bracing the outer wall. Uh, going to take and uh, tack that all up. I've got a few uh, uh, lag screws holding that in. Uh, once I get it tacked up really well, I'm going to take, unscrew it, pull that whole piece out, and weld it all up outside the vehicle. Then, you know, I'm going to take and mark it so I know exactly where it goes. Plus, you know, of course, the screws where they uh, are in right now, they're going to, you know, just screw right back in, and that piece is going to be screwed to that wall. Uh, should uh, brace that very well. Um, still got to do this side. Um, but yeah, that would take care of the uh, the actual outer part. Uh, then it'd be on to uh, doing some baffles. Uh, gonna do some bracing on the back side of them also. Uh, just gotta uh, see exactly. I'd like to have the subs to uh, I measured roughly, giving a little bit extra just to you know make sure I'm not on a tight squeeze here, but. Um, the uh, level fives with the new baskets have a deeper basket than most subs, so got to give it, you know, the uh, the depth and everything. Um, but I would love to uh, extend these baffles out the mo uh, most I can to gain as much airspace. But I'm um, uh, just inverting them all. Really don't. Uh, I'm not a fan of not inverting them. Um, I'm, couple reasons but uh, one being the cooling uh, two uh, it just um, doesn't look as pretty to be honest with you especially showing off these baskets uh, by DC um, but with that being said I'm gonna uh, end it right there just because looks like there's gonna be a little storm coming and uh, thought I'd give you a little update but other than that, I appreciate your time and uh, watching there, guys. Later.